The tailor at the centre of the bridesmaid's dress's drama at Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding is not surprised that it prompted tears. Luxury suit and dressmaker AJ Mirpuri has broken four years of silence on the now infamous affair claimed to have led to tears from Markle and Catherine. He revealed that he saw nothing of what is said to have gone on, but he and three staff had to work around the clock at Kensington Palace and Windsor Castle for four days before the 2018 nuptials. After finding that none of the six bridesmaids' dresses made by French fashion house Givenchy fitted. If anything happened in the background, it didn't happen in front of me, the tailor said. But yes, weddings are stressful at the best of times, and especially one at this high level. You've got to respect that. They were faced with a problem like anyone gets at a wedding, with last minute hitches. I can understand why anyone would be upset if the dresses didn't fit, it's nerve wracking. I feel for them because you wouldn't want the children to go out on a big stage in an ill-fitting dress. And that's what was going to happen. All six bridesmaids dresses had to be fixed, and we did it. So Catherine has been proven correct yet again. They did need to be completely redone. This is embarrassing for Givenchy. Givenchy should sue. Meghan is a destroyer, she sabotaged the process. To be made in France, not England, measurements sent and no doubt through Meghan, a house like Givenchy would send seamstresses to take measurements for such an event. Did she piss Givenchy off and they didn't end up doing the final tailoring? There's more to this story here because there's no way a brand would let someone else do their tailoring for something so high profile. The tailor has come out and it's great news, Givenchy will have no choice but to put the real story out there. Royal fans were always sceptical that the whole thing was on purpose with one saying, something is really off here, I think the whole thing was on purpose so Charlotte would end up with an ill-fitting dress, or even better, didn't want to be a bridesmaid because she didn't like a dress. She laid out the trap and Catherine fell into it. Mission accomplished. Agreeing, another wrote, this is my theory and the only thing I can think of that makes sense. Meghan wanted her own style and she secretly changed the measurements to get a less fitted look without having to consult anyone or deal with Givenchy's opinion. When the dresses came back too big, she didn't tell Givenchy because she still wanted to have sole control over the process. She hired AJ, an independent tailor, because she knew he'd have no leverage to push back on her designs. AJ probably had to follow her instructions and do the best that he could with it. I know this seems like a weird theory, but Meghan has always been oppositional with her fashion choices and I also feel like she's a bit sneaky. So this seems like something she would do, because she'd be refusing to listen to advice. It's also the only way to explain why Givenchy didn't have their own tailors come and why the dresses were still strange looking, even though AJ is a luxury tailor. I have a feeling that the boxy plaits and uneven hem were Megan's design.